afternoon. I'm David Wendell with Bushcraft on Fire and today we're going to learn how to make a tinder can. I went out to the store and bought a few of these little candles. They were 50 cents a piece and uh, if you take these candles they make real good tins. You can buy them either square or you can buy them round like this. It doesn't matter but they do have to be all metal and they do have to have a good lid that will fit onto the, uh, to fit onto the can easily. Now what I've done before I began to make this video is I put this can uh, into a pot of hot water and that melted the candle. I took the candle out and then I brought the tin out to the fire and I put the can into the fire so that we melted all this paint off. You really don't want that paint on there because this tinder can is going to get hot and if it gets hot and starts melting the paint it's going to flake and be a mess. I believe also there may be a zinc oxide coating on here so what we wanted to do was to take this and to uh, and to take all that zinc oxide out. So you can see when we're finished we've got a nice silver can just made out of tin and the inside is burned out looks real nice and what we're going to do is we're going to make an X in this tin on the side. So what I'll do is just take this K bar and I will put it onto the tin and press down and then do it again the other way till we have a little X. And I'll leave that a little bit bent in. You notice when I made that, that that bent in. That's good because that will take the coal that I'm going to put in here and we'll be able to blow it into the tinder that's inside and make a flame. Now, before I began this video, I went out to the woods and I gathered some tinder what this is is just shredded cedar bark and the shredded cedar bark makes a good tinder. I mixed it with a few dry leaves and what we'll do is to gather this cedar bark and we'll mash it up, roll it good between our hands. That's breaking up all these fibers until we get a nice fiber bundle. And we'll take that fiber bundle and we'll put inside of our tinder can. Now we've got a little extra here. We're going to pack it down in there nice and tight and we're going to give it room, you'll be able to see that you can actually see that tinder through the X on the can and that's what's going to take our coal and blow this into a fire. So I'm going to take this, I'm going to push it in there. Now when we're traveling, or if I'm going to put this into my kit, what I would do is I would just put the top back on the kit and then I'd have it ready for me for the next time. This way I always have dry tinder, I don't have to worry if it's rained, or if there's been a storm, if I can't find tinder in an area I'm in, I have my tinder with me. And this tinder will be useful to make many, many fires, probably 10, 15 fires before I even have to start putting new tinder back in here. All right, so now what we want to do is actually get out some flint and steel and a piece of char cloth, make a coal and put it in here and show you how this works. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take and we're going to take a flint and a steel out of my e-kit that I always carry and uh, the flint and the steel will light, a, will light a coal that we can use to put into this. Now in the bush I could use flint and steel, I could use a bow drill, I could use a hand drill, even a match or a lighter to get the material started and then I would have my tinder with me. So I'll take a piece of flint here and see if we can get a coal lid on this char cloth. Doesn't have to be a very big piece. It's kind of wet late last night so it may take a minute to get this started. Everything doesn't always do it exactly the way you want especially when you're on the camera. Let's try another piece of char cloth here. Might be a little bit bigger. There we go. So we've got a little coal. You might not be able to see that on the camera, but I'm just going to roll that char cloth. And I'm going to put that coal right into this tinder pile and begin to blow. Now you need to take your lid off.
and there you go. We've got fire. Then you can take and transfer this into your fire. You can transfer it to your tinder. And this will go for a long time. You can just keep this going for 10-15 minutes. Once that it begins to dwindle down, you can re-add uh, more tinder into it. But once that I've got this started, then it's got black char in there. And that's going to catch a coal even faster. So, there you go. Thank you for joining us today. I'm David Wendell with Bushcraft on Fire. And we appreciate you very much. Hope that you have a great day and join us again for another video.